DC load line and operating point. To study above DC load line, output characteristics of a transistor are required. So, we will draw the output characteristics of a common emitter circuit. The common emitter circuit of an NPN transistor is like this. This is VBB, that is base emitter supply, and this is VCC, that is collector emitter supply. Base current is IB, collector current is IC, and emitter current is IE. The curve showing the variation of the collector current IC with the collector emitter voltage VCE at constant base current IB are called the output characteristics of a transistor. The collector current IC is measured by varying the collector voltage VCE for a constant value of base current IB. The experiment is repeated for different values of IB and a family of curves is obtained like this. I think you are familiar with such type of the nature of graph. So, I skip its discussion. Now, look at this circuit diagram in which this is output loop of the circuit and you may found that this voltage VCC is divided into two parts that is VCE and ICRC. This VCC with the output supply that is collector voltage supply and this is resistance RC and current flowing through this resistance is IC. Therefore, using Kirchhoff's law for this loop, we can write VCC equal to VCE plus IC RC. This is equation of a straight line. In this circuit, VCC and RC are constants. VCE and IC are variable. To draw load line, we need two endpoints of this straight line. In this equation, when IC equal to 0, then VCC equal to VCE. Thus, we obtain a point on VCE axis as B, where VCE equal to VCC and IC equal to 0. And when VCE equal to 0, then VCC equal to ICRC and therefore IC equal to VCC upon RC. It gives another point on IC axis as A, where IC equal to VCC upon RC and VCE equal to 0. By joining these two points, DC load line is obtained. Thus, the load line is the locus of pairs of values of IC and VCE, which can exist for given values of VCC and RC. It is important to note that the load line depends only on VCC and RC and is totally independent of the transistor characteristics. The slope of the line depends on the resistance RC only and is minus 1 upon RC. A load line represents all the possible combinations of IC and VC for the given load resistance RC like this. The intersection of the DC load line with the base current is the operating point or quiescent point of the transistor. Thus, for zero signal, the values of IB, IC and VCE are known as operating points. That is Q1 of IB1, IC1, VCE1, Q2 of IB2, IC2, VCE2, Q3 of IB3, IC3, VCE3, etc. are the operating points. It is called operating point because the variation of IC and VCE take place about this point when signal is applied. It is also called quiescent point that is Q point because 
it is the point on ic vc characteristics when the transistor is silent that is no ac signal is introduced